Recombinant DNA technology Recombinant DNA technology refers to the joining together of DNA molecules from two different species that are inserted into a host organism to produce new genetic combinations that are of value to science, medicine, agriculture, and industry. Recombinant DNA, on the other hand, is the general name for a piece of DNA that has been created by the combination of at least two strands. They are DNA molecules formed by laboratory methods of genetic recombination such as molecular cloning to bring together genetic material from multiple sources, creating sequences that would not otherwise be found in the genome. Recombinant DNA in a living organism was first achieved in 1973 by Herbert Boyer of the University of California at San Francisco and Stanley Cohen at Stanford University who used E. coli restriction enzymes to insert foreign DNA into plasmids. Steps of Genetic Recombination Technology Isolation of Genetic Material Restriction Enzyme Digestion Amplification using PCR, ligation of DNA molecules, insertion of recombinant DNA into host, isolation of recombinant cells. Vectors Requirements for cloning a vector It should be capable of replicating in the host cell. It should have convenient RE sites for inserting DNA of interest. It should have a selectable marker to indicate which host cells receive recombinant DNA molecule. It should be small and easy to isolate. Bacteriophage lambda. It contains a central region of 15 kilobases that is not required for replication or formation of progeny phage in E. coli. Thus, lambda can be used as a cloning vector by replacing the central 15 kb with 10 to 15 kb of foreign DNA. Cosmids They are hybrids of phases and plasmids that can carry DNA fragments up to 45 kb. They can replicate like plasmids but can be packaged like phage lambda. Making a library Libraries are collection of DNA clones in a certain vector. The goal is to have each gene represented in the library at least once. Identification of the specific gene of interest in the library. Probing of the gene. DNA probe. DNA probes are based on the fact that denatured, heated, or chemically treated to become single-stranded DNA molecule will hybridize to sequences that match or are similar to it. Protein probe. If you have the protein product of the gene of interest, make an antibody against it. Then use the antibody to protein of interest is used to screen the library for the clone that is expressing the gene that codes for the protein. Complementation. Clones can be detected based on their ability to confer a missing function on a mutant. Positional cloning is any method of cloning that makes use of information about a gene's chromosomal location in order to clone it. Sudden blot. A sudden allows to the detection of a gene of interest by probing DNA fragments that have been separated by electrophoresis with a labeled probe. DNA sequencing of a gene. Maxim Gilbert based destruction method. Bases of DNA molecule are selectively destroyed, not used very much anymore because reagents are highly toxic and very dangerous. Sanger dideoxy method. Gene to be sequenced is used as a template for the synthesis of new DNA strands, each randomly terminating due to the incorporation of a chain terminating dideoxy nucleotide in four different reaction tubes. PCR or polymerase chain reaction allows the isolation of a specific segment of DNA from a small DNA using DNA primers at the end of the segment of interest. Genetic engineering in plants. Transgenic plants are plants that carry a foreign gene. 
Use TI plasmid from Agrobacterium tumefaciens as a vector. The TI plasmid is a plasmid carried by the bacterium A. tumefaciens. This bacterium causes crown gall disease in plants due to the insertion of the part of the TI plasmid into the plant genome. TI has been engineered so that it can deliver genes to a plant without causing disease. Uses of transgenic animals Basic research Knockout mice for determining the function of the gene. Knockout mice for genetic disease models. Production of useful proteins. Transgenic animals paved the way for gene therapy. Gene therapy The correction of a genetic deficiency in a cell by the addition of new DNA to the cell. This definition has been expanded to include treatments of acquired diseases by the addition of new DNA. Applications of Recombinant DNA Technology Recombinant DNA is widely used in biotechnology, medicine, and research. The most common application of recombinant DNA is in basic research in which the technology is important to most current work in the biological and biomedical sciences. Recombinant DNA is used to identify, map, and sequence genes and to determine their function. Recombinant proteins are widely used as reagents in laboratory experiments to generate antibody probes for examining protein synthesis within cells and organisms. Many additional practical applications of recombinant DNA are found in industry, food production, human and veterinary medicine, agriculture, and bioengineering. Application of recombinant DNA in agriculture. For example, manufacture of Bt cotton to protect the plant against ballworms. Application of medicines. Insulin production by DNA recombinant technology is a classic example. Gene therapy. It is used as an attempt to correct the gene defects which give rise to the hereditary diseases. Clinical diagnosis. ELISA is an example where the application of recombinant DNA is possible. Limitations of recombinant DNA technology. Destruction of native species in the environment. The genetically modified species are introduced in. Cross-contamination and my, my, migration of proprietary DNA between organisms. Recombinant organisms contaminating the natural environment. The recombinant organisms are population of clones, venerable in the exact same ways. A single disease or pest can wipe out the entire population quickly. Creation of superbug is hypothesized. Such a system might lead to people having their genetic information stolen or used without permission. Many people worry about the safety of modifying food and medicines using recombinant DNA technology. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe.